Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amish Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve questions from 75 to 86 of chapter 4 from the book Contemporary Abstract Algebra by Joseph Galen. So without a delay, let's start. Question number 75. Let A and B belongs to a group. If order of A is 12 and order of B is 22 and group generated by A intersection group generated by B is not equal to identity. Prove that a to the power 6 is equal to b to the power 11. Now let g be a group and a comma b belongs to g such that order of a is 12 and order of b is 22. Since group generated by a intersection group generated by b is a subgroup of group generated by a and group generated by b. This implies the order of group generated by a intersection group generated by b divides 12 and 22. This implies order of group generated by A intersection group generated by B is either 1 or 2. Given the group generated by A intersection group generated by B is not equal to identity, this implies the order of this is not equal to 1. This implies order of group generated by A intersection group generated by B is equal to 2. Also, group generated by A to the power 6 is the only subgroup of group generated by A of order 2. And group generated by b to the power 11 is the only subgroup of group generated by b of order 2. This implies group generated by a intersection group generated by b is equal to group generated by a to the power 6 which is equal to group generated by b to the power 11. Therefore, a to the power 6 is equal to b to the power 11. Question number 76. If x is an element of a cyclic group of order 15 and exactly 2 of x to the power 3, x to the power 5 and x to the power 9 are equal, Determine order of x to the power 13. Let G be a cyclic group of order 15. Also given that exactly 2 of x cube x to the power 5 and x to the power 9 are equal means either these two are equal, either these two are equal or either this and this are equal. Since exactly 2 of x cube x5 and x9 are equal, this implies x is not equal to identity otherwise they are of equal. If x cube is equal to x to the power 5, this implies x square is equal to identity. This implies order of x divides 2 and 15. Why it is so? Because the order of element divides the order of group. This implies order of x should be 1 and x is equal to identity which is a contradiction. Again if x to the power 5 is equal to x to the power 9. This implies x to the power 4 is equal to identity. This implies order of x divide 4 and 15. This implies order of x is 1 and x is equal to identity which is again a contradiction. If x to the power cube is equal to x to the power 9, this implies x to the power 6 is equal to identity. This implies order of x divides 6 and 15. This further implies order of x is 3. Therefore, order of x to the power 13 is equal to order of x into x cube to the power 4. Since x cube is equal to identity, this implies this is equal to order of x which is equal to 3. Hence, order of x to the power 13 is equal to 3. Question number 77. Determine the number of cyclic subgroup of order 4 in Dn. The number of cyclic subgroup of order 4 in Dn. This is equal to number of element of order 4 in Dn divided by phi of 4. Which is equal to phi of 4 divided by phi of 4. Why it is so? Because the number of element of order 4 in Dn is phi of 4. Which is equal to 1. Hence there is exactly one cyclic subgroup of order 4 in Dn. Question number 78. If n is odd, prove that dn has no subgroup of order 4. Let us take h is a subgroup of dn of order 4 where n is odd. This implies h is either isomorphic to z4 or isomorphic to z2 cross z2. If h is isomorphic to z4, implies h consists of 4 rotations. And if h is isomorphic to z2 cross z2, this implies h consists 2 rotation and 2 reflections. Since the subgroup of dn of all rotation is a cyclic of odd order, this implies h cannot consist 4 rotation nor have a rotation of order 2. Therefore, if n is odd, dn has no subgroup of order 4. Question number 79. If n is greater than or equal to 4 and is even, show that dn has exactly n by 2 non-cyclic subgroup of order 4. We know that dihedral group dn has n rotation namely r0, r1, r2 up to rn minus 1 and n reflection namely f0, f1 up to fn minus 1. Since n is even implies r180 belongs to dn. Now the subsets of dn of the form 
containing R0, R180, F, R180F, where F is reflection, is a non-cyclic group of order 4 of Dn, where N is even and F is reflection. Since Dn has N reflection, so apparently it can be observed that there is N such non-cyclic subgroup of order 4 of the form R0, R180, F, R180F, these two are identical. So there are n by 2 such non-cyclic subgroup of order 4 of the form R0, R180, F and R180 into F. Since for every subgroup of Dn, either every member of the subgroup is a rotation or exactly half of the member are rotations. Why it is so? For more details, see question number 25 of chapter 3. Hence, if n is greater than or equal to 4 and is even, Dn has exactly n by 2 non-cyclic subgroup of order 4. Question number 80. If n is greater than or equal to 4 and n is divisible by 2 but not by 4, prove that dn has exactly n by 2 subgroup of order 4. This is same as question number 79. Question number 81. How many subgroup of order n does dn have? We know that this set of all rotation is the only cyclic subgroup of dn of order n. When n is odd, dn has no known cyclic subgroup of order n. When n is equal to 2m means even the only non-cyclic subgroup of dn are 2 of the form r r square up to r to the power m rf r square f up to r to the power mf where order of r is m and f is reflection. Question number 82. Let g be the set of all polynomial of the form ax square plus bx plus c with coefficient from this set 0, 1, 2. We can make g a group under addition by adding the polynomial in the usual way except that we use modulo 3 to combine the coefficient. With this operation, prove that g is a group of order 27 that is not cyclic. Now g containing a polynomial ax square plus bx plus c where abc belongs to the set 0, 1, 2. Since abc belongs to the set containing element 0, 1, 2, this implies we have 3 choices for a and 3 choices for b and 3 choices for c. This implies G has 3 into 3 into 3 which is 27 elements as order of G is 27 which is finite. In order to show G is a group, it is sufficient to show G is closed. Let F, G belongs to G. This implies F is equal to A1X square plus B1X plus C1 and G is equal to A2X square plus B2X plus C2 where A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 belongs to the set containing the element 0, 1, 2. Now f plus g is equal to a1 plus a2x square plus b1 plus b2x plus c1 plus c2. This is belongs to g. Why it is so? Because the coefficient a1 plus a2, b1 plus b2 and c1 plus c2 belongs to the set containing the element 0, 1, 2. Hence g is a group of order 27. Since all the coefficient belongs to the set containing the element 0, 1, 2. This implies every non-zero element of a group has maximum of order 3. This implies g is not a cyclic group. Question number 83. Let A and B belongs to some group. Suppose that order of A is M and order of B is N and M and R relative prime. If A to the power K is equal to B to the power K for some integer K, prove that M N divides K. Let G be a group and A comma B belongs to G. Such that order of A is M and order of B is N where M and R relative prime. Also A to the power K is equal to B to the power K for some integer K. Now we have to show that M N divides K. Since m and n are relative prime, it is sufficient to show both m and n divides k. In order to show m divide k, it is enough to show that a to the power k is equal to identity. Now, a to the power k belongs to a group generated by a intersection group generated by b. Again, m and n are relative prime. This implies group generated by a intersection group generated by b is equal to identity. Why it is so? For more details, see question number 64. Therefore, a to the power k is equal to identity. Why it is so? Because a to the power k belongs to group generated by a, intersection group generated by b, which is equal to identity. In a similar manner, we have b to the power k is equal to identity. Hence, m divides k and n divides k. Question number 84. For every integer n greater than 2, prove that the group u n square minus 1 is not cyclic. Now, given group is u n square minus 1, where n is greater than or equal to 2. That if possible the group u n square minus 1 where n is greater than or equal to 2 is cyclic. Since n and n square minus 2 are two distinct elements of the group u n square minus 1. Also order of n and order of n square minus 2 is equal to 2. 
which is contradiction as number of element of order 2 in a cyclic group is phi of 2 which is equal to 1. Hence the group u n square minus 1 where n is less than equal to 2 is not cyclic. Question number 85. Prove that for any prime p and a positive integer n, phi of p to the power n is equal to p to the power n minus p to the power n minus 1. Given prime p and a positive integer n, we have to find the number of non-negative integer less than p to the power n that are relative prime to p to the power n. For this we have to calculate the number that are not relative prime to p to the power n and subtract from the total number. The non-negative integer less than p to the power n are 0, 1, 2 up to p to the power n minus 1. That is there are pn of them. The number that have common factor with p to the power n are the multiple of p which are 0, p, 2, p and so on that is every pth number. Thus there are p to the power n divided by p which is equal to p to the power n minus 1 number in the list. Hence phi of p to the power n is equal to p to the power n minus p to the power n minus 1. Question number 86. Given an example of an infinite group that has existed two elements of order 4 in C star that is group of non-zero complex number until multiplication the solution of x to the power 4 equal to 1 are plus minus 1 and plus minus eta and order of plus minus eta is equal to 4. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content please do like, share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query comment me. Thank you very much. Thank you.